You're a team captain. I, I am. Believe, yeah. I am. Once I'm done playing football, if I want, I have the opportunity to like try out for the WWE. I think you made a joke when we were filming yesterday about the hair, but like, <laughs> I mean, you can't be on in the newspaper doing, <laughs> getting in trouble. Do you pay attention to the NFL projections? I'll see it like on my Instagram and stuff. Same around 16 to middle second. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> I love it. I'm on a mission. The Bronco 250. I'm at your division. I got him excited. Hey y'all, welcome back to the Ride Around Show. Today we got Landon Jackson. Bill Rowe hit and sacked. Landon Jackson has been a one-man wrecking crew off the edges. Good. Today we're gonna to talk to him about his NFL projections, your career, and your Razorback experience. Sounds Let's good. hop in, bro. Hopped in the Bronco, skirt off like OJ. Flew with that sound, nigga, got that cold play. We off? Sheesh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love it. You drive a Raptor as well. Uh huh. So this ain't, yeah. this is a different body. Yeah. They feel about the same though. It's a little, I think a little Doom buggy. Oh, oh yeah. It's yeah. crazy. How's life, Landon? <laughs> start yeah. start on, a, on, a, on a personal note. Oh, it's going good. You know, I got married last month, so okay. living the married life, <laughs> yeah. trying to grind, get the you're football grown, right. You're a whole grown man now, yeah. bro. Yeah. That's great. No kids, yeah. though, right? Well, left the ring at home. No, you <laughs> say that. But yeah, no, no kids, no time so I want to wait till at least 25 for that. Go to the league. Uh huh. Make some money first. <laughs> the kids get expensive. It's a, it's a little scary world to bring kids into uh -huh. right now, it you is. know? That it is. So just to give a little bio so we can, oh, not push ups by Drake playing. Drake or Kendrick? Uh, right now through the beef, Kendrick. Before the beef, I'd say Drake. With the Drake and Calipari relationship, I expect a Drake visit yeah. to Arkansas. Oh yeah, definitely. Big the next game year next year season. Too. Big yep. game next season, I bet he comes down for sure. Yep. So give your bio real quick. We can skip over the boring stuff you talk about okay. in every episode. So you were a four-star recruit coming out of high school. Mm -hmm. You went to LSU your first year. You probably had 30 offers or so. Yeah. Played for the Razorbacks last year. You're one of the star defensive players, defensive end. Mm -hmm. So making sure nobody runs past you. You just try to sack the quarterback, yeah. that type of stuff. Here's Slovis. Under pressure, sack. Landon Jackson. Now that's the biggest thing. Uh, really just putting those DBs, linebackers in a great position to where they don't have to really stress as much, you know, making their job easy or getting the quarterback fast, uh, not letting the running back get to the next level, so. What's your favorite, like, type of play to do or what's your Man, third downs, just on third downs. You come alive? Yeah. I oh, mean, man. Third and long, being able just to get off the ball, not worry about run, just get after the quarterback. I think you have an NIL deal with WWE or you signed I to do, them or I how do. did that? Yeah, no, my uh, sophomore year, my first year here actually, they decided they wanted to sign me on their, I guess, like recruiting class. Yeah. And basically with that deal, it's like, uh, I mean, I'm basically just like one of their NIL athletes. They pay me monthly. Uh, I went to, they flew me out to Florida to go to their like training facilities. And uh, basically the deal is kind of like once I'm done playing football, if I want, I have the opportunity to like try out for the WWE. So something I always You can do it. Yeah. yeah, I think you can do it's it. It's something I always got back in my pocket, you know. What are you, like, 250? Ooh, I don't know, 230? About, about 280. <laughs> Two, oh, my God, my yeah. bad. No, you good. What, 6'7"? Six, seven, six, yep, 6'7", six, six, seven, 280. Yo, I know sure. I could be looking these up, but I think it's more fun just to, <laughs> oh, yeah, just to talk about uh -huh. it. Kind of like Raw 49 in my mind. Oh, I love it. <laughs> it bounces like crazy. It's like a video game. Hey, this thing will take off. This episode is presented by NWA Hype, but more about them later in the episode. College, you have to play three years before you can go yep. to NFL. It's not like basketball was one. This past year was my third year. So you could have went. I could have, and I, I love, part of me was kind of wanting to, you yeah. know, but the more I looked into it, I just feel like it was better for me to come back, uh, get another, another year up here on the hill, have a more productive season, hopefully an overall better team season, you know, yeah. more wins. Definitely want to, I mean. leave it yeah. how you think you could. Exactly, yeah. I definitely want to, I want our team to get into that top 12, you know, be able to be in the playoffs, have the opportunity at the national championship. And I mean, that's, that's the goal. So that's the biggest reason why I came back. And then also just uh, develop myself more, become more of an elite defensive end. I think that's a perk of NIL. Uh -huh. People are so polar on NIL, but like, think about it. If like you didn't have NIL, you exactly. probably would have left. Exactly, because it's like, I would have been like, I mean. Got to look out for your exactly. career. And I was, a, I was a projected draft pick. So it's like, you really, it's hard to, 
it's hard to take that risk on coming back because there's always injuries, stuff like that. But I guess yeah, pretty good money. Yeah, NIL does help. So yeah. it's yeah. uh so all y'all who don't like NIL, we want to have Landon and a few other players probably without it. Yeah. So no, nah, NIL is definitely good for the game. I do feel like it's it's gotten a little crazy and with a lot of teams starting to somewhat buy players. I wouldn't say we really we, we don't do that here. Uh, I think. I mean, we definitely stick to the rules, and uh, a lot of schools, I feel like, do not do that because you, you got NFL players, and they're they're coming back because they're making more to come back than to go to the league. So once it's a mil plus, you're like, Dang. yeah, it's just it just kind of takes away the the, <laughs> the college sport, ball aspect. Yeah. Like, yeah, I mean, we definitely should be able to to live comfortable and stuff, but to the point where players are making more than I mean, they the would if they were going to the league. Or, so, yeah, some players just, are making more than coaching oh, definitely. staff. Oh, definitely. It's, it's oh insane. Oh, my God. I just went by the watch with a whole lot of diamonds and shards. It's my time. Took a trip out to Cali to hang with the crew like a player. Hey, you about to do donuts? Yeah, I, I can't flip it. I was about to say, you going to buy it for real. Do you get recognized pretty much everywhere? Yeah, for the most part. Everywhere up here I do, when I go back home, it's like, it, it's even it's even crazier back home. So. City love. Yeah. Just so I think you made a joke when we were filming yesterday about the hair, but like <laughs> hoodies be fucking up my hair, bro. Shit, I ain't got that problem. <laughs> like, <laughs> is that I feel like you you kinda own it. It's Oh yeah. Was it ever something you were bullied for in school or because you've always been a big dude, so yeah. I feel like they wouldn't really Yeah, no, like when I was younger, I used to get like crap for it sometimes and everything, but uh the older I got, I kind of just embraced it, you know, and kind of like God made me who I am for a reason. And uh, I do events like I, I, I did an NIL thing with uh, this Alopecia Foundation in uh, Los Angeles. And I flew down there, uh, talked to a bunch of kids with alopecia. And I, I feel like I'm really able to use my, my image to really help yeah. people and that were in my position when they were younger. So I was talking to kids anywhere from five all the way to uh, there was a a kid with alopecia who's actually a football recruit and he's 17 and I just talked to him about the process and really have accepted it and actually I mean it's a blessing because yeah. <laughs> representation is like, key just exactly. seeing other people who are similar in images uh -huh. yeah. helps helps you envision a future for exactly. yourself <laughs> Can we do a rapid fire segment presented by NWA Hype? Let's do it. If you had a Madden NFL rating, what would it be? Like once I get there or like right now? Uh, right now. Like an NCAA rating? Yeah. I guess uh, they bring that back. Oh, yeah. you are in the game. Yeah, it'll, it'll be for this season. Hold on, did that pay you? Yeah. Oh, it's like 88 to 94 in between that range. Do you have a favorite clothing item? Love Lululemon. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, I'd be, wearing, I'd be wearing Lululemon. It's just so comfortable, easy. I like essential too. I mean, comfortable clothes, so. We got some essentials though. Uh -huh. We went shopping at NWA Hype. Yeah. I got some. I got, got, I got, I got some. Yeah, I got a, a shirt, some shorts, so. It's funny that Hype wanted to sponsor this episode because I met you. At Hype. At yeah, Hype. You're, yeah. What was that? I Were was you in signing? It was my, uh, it was right when I transferred here. It was my sophomore year here. Yeah. And I was doing a signing, a, just a signing NWA with uh, Brini and uh, Cole. And uh, yeah, yeah. now that's where I met you. Yeah, I brought the I brought the helmet in. Y'all had like uh -huh. 500 followers back then, so this is Man. somewhat of a full circle yeah. moment. Yeah. Your last year, I'm I've ten x. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> NW Hype is the biggest streetwear store. We got clothes oh, there, yeah. shoes there. Man, one on Dixon and Lamar. But yeah, best in Arkansas. Uh, any game that I rep, uh, we just sign with the ice ice and ten for six hundred on all of our neck. Is there a game you're most excited for this season? I'm really excited for Texas game. That's going to be a big one. And okay, then, your brother's committed to Texas, yeah, so what we going to do about this? <laughs> yeah, no, I'm a, I've been trying to flip him, but you know, what's best for me isn't best for him, you That's know? True. So, got to gotta be happy for him. Little bros also don't <laughs> always want to follow him. Exactly, big bros exactly. I, just doesn't, I mean, I'm, I'm happy for him, though. I, ho I hope he succeeds when he gets there, and I hope it works out great for him. But I'm also really excited for Oklahoma State game because uh, – one of my best friends and teammates from high school, he's actually their starting linebacker. He was the Big 12 player of the year this past year. And uh, yeah, no, I'm just ready to see him. Uh, I mean, we won't be going against each other because we're both defensive players, but uh, I mean, I'm just ready for that game. It's gonna be a fun one. How close are the offense and defense? Way closer this year than we've ever been, to be honest. Like, I feel like normally we our D-line hasn't ever been really too cool with our O-line, you know, just because you got that beef in practice and everything. But this year, I feel like it's, like on the field, we hate each other, you know, because we're going, we're going at it all practice. But we know we're making each other better. And I mean, off the field, we got pretty good relationships. Um, what's it called? We got um, transfers and 
Blackstock and Carmona, and they're both really talented tackles, and I think they'll help us a ton this year. And uh, I mean, just keep keep the keep the D line off of uh, Taylor, and I feel yeah. like Taylor will be able to ball. So yeah. I'm excited to see how they do. So you're a, you're a team captain. I, am. I believe. Yeah. I am. It's one of the biggest achievements, you know, just knowing your your teammates look up to you in that way, and knowing like what you mean towards the program. And I mean, it's a blessing for sure. You gotta. It's because you probably lead by example. I know. Yeah. You can't be out there Taking telling plays people. Off. <laughs> yeah. You can't be out there telling people to do this and that when you out here taking plays off the whole practice. So, I mean, you just got to lead on the field, off the field. I mean, you can't be on in the newspaper doing, <laughs> getting in trouble, doing yeah. dumb stuff. So, really just leading by example on and off the field. Yeah. My dad played football here for the Razorbacks, and I just said, hey, I'm interviewing Landon. But he just goes, I like him. I, I really like him. He's yeah. a dog. He's like, I, I, I was like that. I had some teammates like that. I know uh, the type of player he is. So I was like, exactly. okay. It got the dad's approval. Uh -huh. <laughs> Johnson hit immediately. As he was dropped by Landon Jackson. Do you pay attention to the NFL projections? I've had projections all the way from uh, this past year. My earliest was 16, latest. It was all sitting around like middle second round, I'd say, this past year. All the pre, like way too early mock drafts <laughs> yeah. are like saying around 16 to middle second. So, I mean, really just trying to have a, a crazy year. And, yeah, bump that up. Uh, bump yeah. that up, yeah. You know, get a guarantee first round, you know? So that'd be, that's the goal for sure. How do you kind of keep that out of your head? I mean, uh, you're a human, so yeah, it's like, yeah, you know yeah. that's... I mean, yeah, I always think about it, and I'll see it, like, on my Instagram and stuff, but really just got to do all I can do. You know, I can't I can't change God's plan, so... If it's meant for you, it won't exactly. miss you. And, I mean, my, th and that also helps with the mindset to where, oh, that doesn't happen. I'm not pissed off, because I know... I know yeah. whatever happens is happening for a reason. So big ass Popeyes in the hot people break it this life is in May. If you hit me for buzz, do you know that I'm sexy? Keep on cause that you're still in the pack. You saved most of your NIL? Oh yeah, I saved almost all of it. That's really the like my monthly spending is not a lot at all, but like not a lot or not a lot compared to what you make? <laughs> not a lot compared to what I make. But uh I mean like I, I put back a, a quite a bit of money and uh Really just try setting myself up to where if this uh, injury happens, if something goes south, I, I got something to fall back on, you know? That's smart. So I try being smart with it. What's your GPA? GPA, I think right at a three. Okay. Not too crazy. How many hours are you taking? Yeah, I'm taking, what is it? 18 right now. 18? Yeah. <laughs> what the? 18 I'll be hours. doing 12. That's Man, crazy. Nine. Taking them, I took 18 right now. I got one more class and I'm done, so. Wow. <laughs> Blitz coming, right, incomplete at the 40. Almost intercepted by Landon Jackson. Let's do a segment presented by Optimal Human. We're at, the Riding Round Show is now actually fueled by Optimal Human. Okay. A segment called, How Fit Are You? Okay. So what's your go-to bulk meal? I'll eat a ribeye, uh, I'll eat a filet. <laughs> Same time? Yeah. yeah, and then I'll eat uh, a baked potato with a lot of butter, a lot of cheese. Uh, and then probably about 10 pieces of asparagus. So, yeah, I'll eat, I'll eat pretty big. I'll do that uh, probably once a week, I'd say. Try not to do it more than once a week because that'll start putting that weight on you. <laughs> but, trying to stay a little bit lean, I uh -huh. guess. Huh? What's the highest weight you lift? My highest I've ever benched was my freshman year of college, actually. Uh, and that's because I, I actually broke my ankle my senior year of high school, so I was working out straight upper body like that whole year. And I got up to, I think it was like 425 on bench. Never got close to that again. But my best lift is probably power clean, I'd say. I hit about 350 on that, so it's probably my best lift. That's a nice little defensive guy mm -hmm. or offensive guy lineman on the other yeah. side. 350. Does the program, do they have you training like with fitness supplements? We'll get tested for like our defic deficiencies. And like me personally, uh, I have low vitamin D, so I'll take uh, a vitamin D pill and uh, they'll make a protein shake after every workout for us. So that's really it. You know who doesn't have a vitamin D deficiency? Who? Drake. <laughs> that's crazy. Like, he, he said it on his last song. I had to mention it. It's only big D in this video proof. Oh, that's why. <laughs> A green supplement. 97 ingredients like ashwagandha, some okay. stuff for your mental health, gut health. I ain't too fond of the stuff that's green, so we're going to have to test this it is, out. This is, tough, this is a tough test. It almost tastes like sweet tea. Bro, it's <laughs> like... Almost. The taste is pretty fire. 50% off. 
This uh, starter kit. Okay. Link in description. Oh, yeah. See, I'm from Texas, where we surround swingers and put dollars on our niggas. Fuck drink inside my lemonade till it look like a bitch. See, I come from the D where we got checks. Oh, you, oh, you can parallel park this yeah, thing? Yeah, you can parallel park. You, you can't get a license in Texas, you can't parallel park. <laughs> Bitch, I'm from Texas, where we parallel park our whips <laughs> up on the... Turn that corner fast, man. Turn that corner. What a life. What a life. Come on, you got to 